So now that we had a first glimpse at this file-based routing system in theory, let's apply it in practice to this demo project we set up here so that we really understand it. This pages folder is important as you learned. And in this pages folder, we can add a new file. We can add a new file and we can, for example, name it index.js. You learned that index.js is a special file name such that next.js will not use the file name as a path then, but instead will load the index.js component as the main component for slash nothing. So here in this case, we have index.js and this file would be loaded if we just visit our domain and then we have no other path after our domain. So just our domain slash nothing. But what goes into this index.js file? Well, as mentioned before, just a regular React component. There's nothing special to that. You don't need any special code in here. You just add a normal React component. You export this component. And then with that, Next.js will render that component when a request reaches this file through Next.js routing system. So therefore, in this file, we can add a component and we can add a class-based component or a function-based component. And I will stick to function-based components only in this course. So therefore, we can add a new component, a new function here, and name this home page, for example. Now, the name is totally up to you. This doesn't have to be named home page. Any name is okay. I'm just using home page as a name here because it will be the root page loaded. And whilst it is a regular component, technically, we will treat it as a, as a page. It will occupy the entire page. And that's why I add page in the component name. But you can name this component however you want. Now in this component, we then want to return our JSX code just as we know it. So here I will return, let's say a div and in that div, a simple h1 tag where I say the home page. Definitely not too inspiring yet, but we'll get there. Now we need to export this function as the file default. So either like this or what I like to do, but it's up to you, like this. We need to export this function, this component, so that Next.js knows which component should be rendered as a page. Because in theory, you could of course define multiple components and have multiple functions in that file. Now with all of that, once you save that file, we can see it in action. For this in your terminal here, simply run npm run dev to bring up the development server for this Next.js application. It will open up on localhost 3000 by default. And therefore, once you visit that in the browser, you should see this. And it's just a bit big here for me because I zoomed in quite a lot so that you can see this. So that's what you should see on the screen. And of course, that's the content returned by this component in our index.js file. And we do see this on the screen because we're visiting our domain slash nothing. There's nothing after that slash. If it would enter about here, it would crash and we would get this default 404 page, which we get here during development because we didn't define a component for that yet. Well, that's what we're going to do next though.